yeah I'm back again with another video it's really really good nation so in today's video I am going to show you in real time what you need to do to get that perfect lay and yes I'm using that polish touch of the lips so trust me you'll be a pro at laying acrylic after this so me personally, I prefer to use a three ball method so I don't have to worry about two things, structure and apex. Structure and apex. If you watch this video fully, you will thank me later. So as you see here, I start off at a three fourth mark of the nail. I wait a few seconds, wait, 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 and then I start pat, pat, patting it in. I'm making sure that the acrylic is not rolling off the sides. What else am I doing? Yeah, so I'm making sure it's not rolling off the sides and I'm making sure it's ready for me to start pulling it down. And when I say pulling it down, you see my brush. I dip it in a little bit of monomer and then I pull it down. Still patting on the sides, but I'm also pulling it down with the belly of my brush. Watch this demonstration. You see that? Yes. So, trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me. You don't want anything to go off the sides of those walls. Girl, pat that joint. Pat that joint like your weave itch. Pat it, pat it, pat it. So like you see right here, I am taking off the leftover acrylic that I had up there. It's not much, but you still wanna make sure that the nail is shaped the way you left it. You know what I mean? All right, so I'm still patting and I'm still making sure the nail is shaped the way it was before I started laying this acrylic down. So if you don't do nothing else, wipe them sidewalls. Everything else can be fixed, but them sidewalls, you definitely want to wipe those because filing takes up the majority of the time that you spend on a client, trust me. So right here, I'm wiping on the sides and in the middle, but not necessarily at the top, not a whole lot, because you want to have that space there because that's creating a structure. So your second bead is going to be about, I want to say halfway, yeah, halfway, excuse that, because these people is coming in for work, I'm in my room, so yeah, so I'm still wiping down the sidewalls, wiping down the sidewalls, and I'm wiping down the middle just to make sure everything is even and laid out, I'm talking about laid out, and you can actually see when you're going to need some more, you know, acrylic, so right here, I don't need any more acrylic. I'm just making sure that the acrylic that's underneath that I'm wiping away isn't going to get stuck because you don't want any acrylic under your nails either because that's going to create problems, problems, problems. See? Still working on the sidewall, still working on the shape of the middle. So, word, to, word of advice, keep messing with it until you're satisfied. Keep wiping it, wiping it, wiping it until you're satisfied. Alright, so here come the next beat. This is gonna be my second beat, and it's gonna be like mm, where the meat meets the sidewall of the nails. Make sure that you are tucking in the sides because you don't want a nail that is wider than you know the the, the sidewalls of your actual nail, your natural nail. You want them to match. I can't tell you how much times I see nails that they all wide at the sidewalls. I'm like, girl, what is you doing? Oh no, baby, what is you doing? So still wiping down the sides, wiping down the middle, making sure that everything is conjoined and together, 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 in unison. Say together, in unison, in unison. So this is my method. So I know it's only one hand and it's long, but I'm getting real detailed with y'all real time, like real, real, real time. Cause I want to make sure y'all get it. I know I do a lot of designs on this channel. I know I do a lot of intricate work, but this is me getting back to the basics, you know, getting back to the roots. Yes. All right. So you see here, the bead of acrylic that I just picked up is almost matte, but it was too big. So I took it off never want to put a too big bead of acrylic at the cuticle of the nail because you have more chance to flood the cuticle with it so as you see right there I kind of walked it down a little bit I'm wiping down the sides wiping down the sides and I'm leaving the middle and 
girl even Ray Charles can see the apex baby <laughs> Ray Charles can see the apex but you see how everything is unison everything is nice and sleek and neat and nothing's falling off the sides everything is in unison so that's the goal that you want to try to achieve when you're laying down your acrylic because it creates less work for you to do I think I, I'm pretty sure I can get it like if a customer has short nails I can get them out in like 30 minutes 30 minutes flat so if you see right there if you look right there it's a little bit of acrylic underneath the nail you can get that with your file because in it in a sense you're not gonna be able to get everything everything so next finger next finger all right so here watch me I'm putting a little bit of moisture on the nail this step right here creates a what do I want to say adhesion so that's another tip put some monomer on your nail before you start because that creates the adhesion and then it wets it will create less breakage I'm telling you if you follow these steps you will be good to go you will be a pro in no time a pro do you hear me a pro so again I'm patting in the sides patting in the sides now I'm pulling it down with the belly of the brush pulling it down with the belly of the brush make sure you use in feather 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 like super feather like strokes you definitely want to do that feather 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 you don't want to be too harsh because you don't want to put any indentations in the nail so if your acrylic is sticking to your brush dip it into your liquid tap it on your towel and then begin to work so I actually really like this acrylic I'm gonna have to buy some more y'all like for real for real I'm not sponsored by not polish trust me I wish I was not polish honey fam girl sponsor me no I'm just playing but I really do like the acrylic so and it's also a two-on-one as you can see from the beginning of the video it's a two-on-one so it's a dip and it's an acrylic S be careful with those anyway three-fourths of the way I put down my first bead work that out second bead I'm putting it about halfway but I'm putting it just before the line of demarcation of the tip and the acrylic that I put down so you're actually like kind of doing like a building block type of thing a building block type of thing you want to build up the nail so that's what acrylic is you're building you're building you're creating this is art y'all everybody that's a nail tech and aspiring nail tech and a cosmetologist period we are artists because we create beauty now these nails right here beauty telling you beauty so I'm still pat down the mm, girl I got some popcorn in my throat from earlier my bad so I'm patting down the sidewalls patting down the free edge of the nail just to make sure that it's maintaining its shape that is the number one thing that I see is that some people when they're first starting out cannot maintain the shape of the nail but this here this is your guide so I put the next bead right above the last bead that I laid down you want to wipe in the sides first making sure that the acrylic is not rolling off and swipe and swipe and swipe yes swipe swiper no swipey swiper no swipey just think of yourself as the fox your swiper you're swiping you're feathering your brush down to create an exact replica of the tips that you put on the person's nails think of it like that so I'm still working in the sidewalls making sure everything is unison and uniform because there's nothing worse than a nail that is not in unison and it's not uniform because you got like one side that's lumpy and one side is in too far this is the perfect way to ensure that you have that crisp Instagram look I'm telling you I'm telling you sis you don't even know it yet but trust me all right so here is the last beat this should be the last beat is this the last beat I don't even know what I'm doing right here oh showing you the beat that is the last beat it's not the last beat but this uh, is building up your unit building up your apex so you don't want to necessarily wipe at the very top because you're gonna wipe down too much and then it's gonna deflect from your apex shaping 
because you want to have your apex shaping right where you see that brush at. Okay, come through Kiss of the Lips. Yo, I love this color. I wish I would have bought Not Polished before I had to go overseas because I would have their whole entire collection. Between this and eye gel, I would have the whole entire collection. Anywho, last bead. Very small, very wet. So you see me pressing it in there, pushing it up, pushing it up, push it push it good so you see that little piece right on the left hand side that could be the entire bead so you want to be careful and make sure it's not too wet and make sure you are wiping the sides of the nail that way you don't have any acrylic left over you still got your apex your nail is even all the way around and then you're still patting in the sides that's what you want to do you want to pat 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 swipe and pat very lightly very gently I actually suggest that you use gel first because with gel you cannot be rough with that or else it's gonna go everywhere trust me hard gel yeah that's the beast so you see me again getting that layer of adhesion with the monomer because when you have a wet surface you have that monomer surface first it's gonna stick to that and the reason why I say that is because I didn't use any primer on this because I had already had a clear layer down. So if you're using primer, that is your wet layer. So you see it, it's kind of moving down, kind of moving down, moving down. Oh yeah, and make sure that your nail is tipped downward. Gravity is your friend, so everything is moving downward. You don't ever want anything to move upward because if it's moving upward, you is wrong, sis. So swiping, swiping, swiping. Yes, still making sure the sidewalls are nice and even. Girl, I love this part. This is so satisfying. I don't know about y'all, but this is just satisfying. Like I could watch this all day. Don't even necessarily have to be for me. It would definitely be from somebody else because I don't watch my own videos after I, I put them up for y'all. Sometimes I do, but a lot of times I don't. So you see me, I kind of nicked it a little bit, but there's always still room for improvement and room for correction. So I'm correcting that little bit because I have that time to do that. And that's where your liquid to powder ratio comes in. If your liquid to powder ratio is good, you will have a much easier time. So get down your liquid. That's actually going to be my next video. So this one is going to be laying the acrylic down. And my next one is going to be liquid to powder ratio because I know a lot of people struggle with that even sometimes myself if I'm in a rush I struggle with it too so don't think that just because you get good that you can't mess up you know players mess up so you see me I'm patting it in patting the sides in and then I'm working my way to the middle so you want to think about it like this side side middle lower middle at that because you're creating that strength strength me Personally, I know I say to me personally a lot, but that this is a personal opinion. I like to work in beads because I don't like to work in the one bead method because I don't feel like it gives the nail enough structure. It gives enough strength. Like you have all these different spaces where you're putting acrylic and building something. That's just how I look at it. Girl, why y'all ain't tell me that my ring my wedding ring was all crooked it's all turned into the same anyway so working swiping patting patting and swiping and swiping down the middle now when you're working with the middle you want to be really really gentle until it starts to set because you can just wipe off everything you just worked on and that's why i say feather like strokes so i'm still working on those sides making sure that it's good to go G to G and making sure that the free edge is still good too because I mean look all you gotta do on these set is lay it down and then you just gotta buff because I'm telling you this was absolutely perfect if I don't say so myself so I got my last bead is very wet and very small I'm pushing 
some of it into the cuticle area, but I'm not pushing it too, too close. But I'm just making sure that all bases are covered and I'm gonna move it down the side, the middle, and the other side. So once you turn that nail to the side, you can definitely see that apex girl. If your nails don't have no apex, take them off sis, take them off. Or if you're aspiring to be a nail tech, fill it in, fill it in. Ooh, it's sparkly too. So I think I'm gonna put another bead up there in the middle just to be on the safe side because it looked a little thin. Yep, sure did, boom. Wait, and that's why I say work in beads because there's no number of beads that you have to abide by. Like you put as many beads as you feel comfortable with and don't be caught up on time. You need to be caught up on quality. Quality over quantity. That is the phrase. So you see me, I'm moving it up so it can blend with the rest of the nail cause sis, don't just leave it. Don't leave it. Beautiful, freaking beautiful. I hope I'm explaining this right because sometimes I get my words all jumbled and mixed up or whatever. So let me know in the comments down below, like, do y'all like these kind of videos or at all? <laughs> all right. Still working on the sidewalls, making sure they're absolutely perfect because me, I like filing, but I don't like filing. All right, we on our last finger with that hand. We're gonna create that layer of adhesion with the monomer. Slide that on down, slide it. And then we're gonna go three fourths of the way. I turned it to make sure you could see it. Girl, oh, I got them angles right, girl, yes. I finally, I, see I got this new mount and it was hard to adjust to. That's why the last video, some of the fingernails was out of frame. But here, you can see everything. Pat, 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 pat it in the sides. Pat it like you need to get a retouch on your weave, girl, on that lace front. You see how it's moving down, but it's not liquidy. It's starting to set. You wanna catch it when it's starting to set, not when it's already set. So when you're messing with it, when you first put it down, that's you can actually tell when it's ready. So we're gonna take this all the way down, smooth that bad boy on out, and knock off the excess. Doop, doop, bloop. <laughs> there you go. Yep, and me making sure that the free edge is good to go, making sure that there's no leftover acrylic. It's a little bit more that needs to be slid off, you know, slide it on off. Now, if you take the belly of your brush while it's still moist, it's easier to knock it off, like so. Y'all, I just wanna say I love creating these videos for y'all. All right, here come the second bead. It's gonna be about where the meat meets the nail tip. And right above the last bead that you just laid down, you wanna walk it down. Sometimes I walk it down, sometimes I don't. It's easier to walk it down though because it, it takes like less control and versus you just pushing it in the nail and then it's spreading all everywhere and then you gotta catch it and chase it. I, that's the worst part. But you gotta get your niche and hopefully when this video is done, you will become a pro thanks to Neon Nail School. All right, this is the last bead. I had to wait for a minute because sometimes I do three, sometimes I do four, but I did walk this bead down too. Push that joint into the acrylic like you just about to push on a pop, push pop, push pop, push pop, and then swipe down the side, side, and the middle.
so kind of started to set so that indicates to me that you need to hurry it up B hurry it up B we ain't got time for all this but I see on the left on the yeah on the left side it was kind of poking out on the sidewall so I made sure that it was my due diligence like juvenile so the view is a little further away but you'll still be able to see everything so the what I'm doing here is I am refining the shape not a, not like it really needed anything anyway <laughs> it's not a two mile horn <laughs> but I'm going underneath the nail making sure that it's even underneath you don't have to do that stuff I like to do it I'm going straight up and down on the sidewalls and I'm going straight up and down on the free edge so as you can see here there's not much to refine so like I was saying the whole video the better you lay this acrylic baby the less filing you have to do it's literally like five or ten minutes of filing just to refine and sharpen up your shape that's literally it so I'm going straight up and down, not inward, not outward, straight up and down on both sides of the nail and the free edge. So when I'm twisting the finger, I'm looking at all the angles to see where it needs to be filed. I don't know what that was, <laughs> got it off. But yeah, straight up and down you guys, straight up and down on the sides and on the free edge because that creates that crisp look that everybody is working towards. Definitely look at it from all angles, all angles, to make sure you have everything. You didn't miss a thing. You didn't skip a beat. Dust it off, dust her off. All right, so this next step here, I'm just looking around. I'm gonna take my medium grit sanding bin and I'm going to go over the surface of the nail. In a minute. Here I'm going underneath, getting all the excess that I missed when I was taking the acrylic off on step, oh, the very beginning, I'm not gonna say step one, I'm gonna say the very beginning. So this, I'm smoothing out the surface of the nail, making sure that all angles are smooth, even in slippery slope, perfect. And just so you know, when I'm underneath the nail and I do that, I'm enhancing the C curve. Again, C curve, less breakage. Bead method, less breakage. Proper prep, less breakage. No lifting. So I'm looking at it from like, as they say, the barrel of the nail, up and down, side to side, just to make sure everything is uniform. So I don't know if you can see it, but me 
doing that extra little step it's not even really extra step but me doing that step right there ensures that there's no lumps the surface is even and the apex is still there what you don't want to do is file too much aka over filing and then you're taking off the bulk of the nail and you made your apex disappear it happens so i'm going around the cuticles right along the side walls making sure everything is uniform and refining that c curve so i am taking down some of the bulk at the free edge because you don't want it too thick it's supposed to be the thickness of a credit card or by preference some people don't like that so go either a or what you know if they don't say anything or be by preference it is what it is home girl so i'm not doing a back and forth motion it looks like i'm doing a back and forth motion but i'm really not i'm doing a side to side motion So looking down the barrel of that, look how perfect that looks. Perfect. Refining the cuticles. Well, actually, that's called sealing. So you seal the cuticles and then go over the surface of the nail. Make sure everything is wet. Uniform. When I say uniform, I mean all together. Like no flaws. It may take you some time to get there, sis, but you will get there. And this video is going to help you. So when you're filing, you want to make sure, like I said, you look at all the angles. Because when you go to see them pictures, you're going to be like, dang. I need some more filing on the left side. And no, filing does not take away the sparkle from the nail. They'll come back. Oh, right there, I didn't even touch the side of the nail. Be careful with that part because you do not want to round out the tip of your nail, the free edge. Do not round out the free edge. Because then you're going to be mad, and then you're going to go back in, and you're going to start filing, and then the nail's going to look weird. Side to side, side to side. Dust her off. Dust her off. And then what we're gonna do is buff. So right here I am using Young Nails um, buffing blocks. That is a Young Nails buffing blocks. It is available on Young Nails website. I highly recommend them. I mean, call me bougie, call me whatever you want to, but it do the job. last a very long time and they are you are able to sanitize them so they are reusable so the reason why I'm buffing out the surface of the nail is because when you go over it with the sanding band that creates like little teeny scratches and when you see me swiping right there that's making sure that everything is smooth like smooth smooth just in case I miss something So when you do it you want to do the entire surface of the nail and you want to do the size because when you file um it has like that like line or marking i personally don't like it so i get rid of it and 
I don't know if you can see it, but my ring finger is supporting the nail. So when you buff in, make sure that you're still giving it some support because you don't want to create, you know, cracks or friction in the nail or pain. Getting your nails done should never hurt, y'all. I, I don't care where you go. Anyway, my hands are dusty, but do you see this perfection right here? Do you see this perfection? <laughs> Girl, yes.